joining us now is Megan Kelly, journalist and host of The Megan Kelly Show, which is on Sirius XM Triumph Channel 111 every weekday at noon Eastern and can be found on YouTube. Megan Kelly, uh, great to have you here. You were also one of my co-moderators during the Republican primary debate. You've moderated many of these debates, so you know about moderating. Donald Trump is complaining today that it was rigged, that it was three on one, and you started your podcast last night saying you were, quote, disgusted with the moderators. Why? It was a total and utter fail of journalism by ABC News. They ought to be ashamed of themselves. They're no longer a news organization. Uh, I, I'm, I'm stunned. I honestly, you should be so glad you don't work there, Elizabeth. You're too good for them. These people wouldn't know journalism it hit, if it hit them in the face. All they did was gang up on Donald Trump. All they did was run cover for Kamala Harris. Let me give you a couple of examples. The fact checks they did on Donald Trump were nothing of the kind. I just wrote down a couple for fun uh, on whether he actually admitted that he lost the 2020 election. He said, I was being sarcastic when I said I lost by a whisker. David Muir thinks it's appropriate to inject his opinion. I didn't detect sarcasm. Who cares what you think? Yeah. Your opinion is irrelevant. None of us care. That's not a fact check. That's his opinion masquerading as one. Then Donald Trump says the thing about um, they're allowing babies to be born and to be killed or to die on the table. There actually is some truth to that. It has to do with abortions that get botched and the baby is born anyway. In states like Minnesota, there is no mandate that the doctors have to provide life-saving care, only, quote, comfort care. This is an issue for pro-life Republicans. It's not the first time it's come up. He was wasn't the most articulate spokesperson. But yet again, we get a fact check from Lindsey Davis. There is no state in which you may kill the baby after birth. Well, he said he was equating the word kill to allow allowing it to die. And therefore, her fact check is off. Another one. The pets, the pets, the dogs, the cats. I get all that. David Muir says, we spoke to the city manager and that's not verified. You know what, David? That is now a he said, they said, because Trump is right. It's on Facebook. There's a 911 call of people reporting it. There is There are eyewitness testimonials from people who showed up at the city town hall meeting. I don't know what's true. All I know is that's not an appropriate fact check by a debate moderator. Let her do that. Let her get up there. And when Kamala Harris told lie after lie after lie, you know how many times they fact-checked her? Zero. None. None. Yeah, it was they fact-checked totally him. Unfair. They fact-checked him four times. They fact-checked her zero. But listen, we just played a clip. Donald Trump said they're executing babies. Uh, they're not executing babies. So, but if you look at the clip, Elizabeth, he said he explains what he means by that. He says they're letting these babies die, and then he says you could say kill, and then he he doesn't explain it. But this, is, trust me, if you live your life in Republican circles and understand the pro-life crowd, this is the issue. It's about the born alive babies after botched abortions, and that does happen. And. Kamala Harris actually refused to sign a bill that would protect those babies. And Tim Walz is the one responsible for the Minnesota legislation. So this is an issue. You just don't know about it. The audience doesn't know about it because ABC News didn't think it was worth fact-checking in the proper way. They fact-checked the other way. It, it, yes, but he did say they're executing babies, and, and that is illegal in all 50 states in the country. But I do want to get back to your point that they fact-checked him four times, and they didn't fact-check her, fact her at all, even when she repeated claims that he is called white supremacist, very fine people, something that is clearly taken out of context. All you have to do is watch the entire videotape of his news conference. What should the moderators have been doing? No fact-checking at all or fact-checking of both? No fact-checking would be my first choice. That, that happened at the CNN debate, and it worked out fine. But if you're going to fact-check the one, you, gotta you do both. must do both sides. She got away with so many lies, Elizabeth, and you pointed out one of the big ones in your opening. She was permitted to come out there and say that she hadn't reversed herself on fracking. Lindsay Davis, Miss Fact Checker, nothing. She moved on. She gave this long answer about how she'd never changed her position on fracking. There was no follow-up. She was also permitted to say that she hadn't changed her position on gun buybacks, mandatory gun buybacks. There's videotape of both of these things. Kamala Harris, Nothing. They moved right on. They had zero interest in following up. And you know what's so egregious about the fracking one is this had already happened. Dana Bash had fallen down on this issue right. during her one-on-one -on -one interview on CNN, which was a couple of weeks ago. When you prepare for a debate, as you well know, you ask for all the data about the, what the person has been saying in recent days, years, months on this issue. So they would have known 
She had said that to Dana Bash about how she'd always taken this position since 2020. They either failed to check it or they were on board with her spin, to put it kindly. Either way, it was an utter fail by ABC News. Thanks so much for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.